run a nonprofit. It's called 22 Reasons. And I go to schools and I tell stories about animals um, in order to get kids to think critically about how they're treated. Um, in this case, I'm telling the story about Lolita, who's an orca who was captured in the wild 43 years ago. She was moved to the Miami Sea Aquarium and she's been in a tank that is illegal by animal welfare standards. Um, in numerous ways it's a legal tank and she still is forced to perform once a day um, and so there's a whole mess of people trying ever since the day she was taken from her family they've been trying to get her back um, into the ocean. Her family is an endangered species, their pod, their individual pod is considered endangered and so she was for some reason exempt from that status. So there's a petition right now to get her back under that umbrella of endangered species. I went and saw her. I saw her in her pool. I saw her sit in the corner. Her tail touches the bottom. Everything I know about wild orcas leads me to believe there's no way she's happy. Um, besides the fact she's alone, uh, being in a concrete tank is sensory deprivation for an orca who uses echolocation to communicate. And so, just the fact she has to listen to the hum of the pool filters year after year. The way I see it is, we've learned about these animals. I can see maybe why we thought it would be cool to capture them and look at them up close and get inspired people to learn about them. But to make them do tricks and perform for our entertainment and live in these incredibly unnatural conditions, I, just, I don't see the point. I don't find it educational. Um, I think it's a contradictory message to say to kids, look, check out this cool animal, but then treat it the way we do. There's so many statistics on why they get sick and the stereotypical behavior of being confined, chewing on the gates and breaking their teeth and getting infections. And I mean, there's just incidents after incidents of the frustration orcas. What's the reception like to your Oh, people love it. You know, people care and if they stop and think about it, they really have compassion for the animal and it outweighs their need for entertainment for a Saturday afternoon. And so really, it's about getting people to think before they put their money into a ticket, you know?